If, like me, you've played Warzone for an insane amount of time now, or you just like to try new weapons, you probably are always looking for the next best weapon option to keep the game fun and interesting for you. I'm the biggest M4A1 fan in the world, but even I have to put it down sometimes. So what is that next best weapon? Well, for me, and hopefully for you, it's actually the Origin 12 shotgun. I know what you're thinking, a shotgun on the biggest map in Call of Duty history, what are you talking about? But honestly, at close range, its power and fire rate is scary. The best part about the Origin 12, or the worst part if you're up against it, is that it's a fairly low skill weapon. Your accuracy doesn't have to be that great as hip firing is really good with it. And the other great thing about it is that you can get out of almost certain death in some occasions. You can be one bullet away from death, but up close you have the ability to one shot people down with full armour. It's a tied turner of a weapon, which is just really fun to use. So I'm going to share with you the best loadout setup in my opinion for this, which includes the trusty old M13 on overkill as well. So for the Origin 12 attachments, I firstly recommend Choke as your muzzle, which increases damage range and narrows the bullet spread, giving us better accuracy and range altogether. For the same reasons, I also run the Forged Tech Impaler as the barrel. For the laser, the 5MW laser is great for hipfire accuracy and sprint to fire speed. For stock, pop on no stock is my recommendation, for a bit more movement speed and aiming down sight speed. The ADS speed you still want a bit of, as when you're aiming in with this weapon, uh, it's just ridiculously powerful. Finally, I like to put on the 8 round slug mags for that extra bit of damage and range, although this does drop the velocity quite a bit, so you really have to be quite close up to be able to hit the big damage. If you find this is too much of a drop off, I'd recommend swapping out for the 12 round or 25 round mags, this way you keep the velocity and have plenty of shells to burn through. This mix of attachments just makes it really pack a punch, with the ability to spit out 8 shells in quick succession, and it can really get you out of trouble. So like I mentioned, the M13 has made the cut as my secondary weapon, and that's for a few reasons. With the right attachments, the M13 is great at long to medium distances, with pretty minimum recoil. For those of you that have played Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops 3, it reminds me a lot of the ACR and Man of War. It's a very steady all-rounder with a good fire rate too, so the attachments I recommend for this weapon are Monolithic Suppressor. I might actually stop listing the Monolithic Suppressor now when I suggest Warzone classes for you guys, because it's just so much of a must-have. Anyway, with the Monolithic Suppressor we want to run the Tempest Marksman. The optic is pretty much up to you, but I quite like the Corp Combat Halo sight. Stick the Commando Foregrip on with that, along with the 60 round mechs, and you're all set to go. In terms of perks and stuff, there's nothing too groundbreaking here, because I think there are only really a few perks that are worth running for Warzone. For perk 1, it's EOD to reduce explosive damage. For perk 2, we've obviously gone for uh, overkill already. And for perk 3, I recommend Amped, which allows you to swap weapons much faster. This way you can be beaming people at distance, then flip instantly to your Origin 12 when you sense danger close. With equipment, it's basically up to you to be honest, but since you're not running an RPG or anything like that as your secondary weapon now, I highly advise that you have some C4s just to combat vehicles. And of course they have many applications other than just vehicles too. For tactical equipment, a classic heartbeat sensor or stuns is the one for success here. What I always recommend with overkill loadouts though, is that you only really select this when you're calling in a loadout before the first free one on the map drops. This way you can swoop by and select a loadout with Ghost on shortly after you've already got your overkill class, since you've got to be avoiding UAVs and heartbeat sensors at pretty much any stage of the game. But then after you've done this, you're all set for the end game before the start of the second circle has even arrived. So that's actually all for this video. I just thought I'd share with you all a great class in terms of killing potential to help you win more games, but almost as important, a great class for having fun. If you liked the video, why not like the video? And if you want to see more Call of Duty videos, you should really subscribe. See ya!